Hello everyone. I hope you are fine and in best of your health and enjoying your studies at the moment. So today we are here with one very good problem from trigonometry. Not that difficult, but uh, interesting one. So here uh, in this question we will use the formula of cos c plus cos d. So let's uh, see how we can solve this. So uh, in case you are going for an exam in which you have 120 question in two and a half hours to solve. So there you need to remember the formula because you don't have a time that much time to uh, derive the formula. But here because here we are here just for the learning purpose, not for giving any exam right now. So there we, here we can uh, derive that formula and then we'll come back to the question. So the formula which I am going to derive is cos c plus cos d. So for that I will need cos a plus b which I know is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. Another formula which I need is cos a minus b which you know is equal to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. Now if I add this two, okay. So uh, let me take one assumption that let's take this a plus b which you can see in the angle as some other thing c and a minus b as d. So if I add them, so I will get uh, b will cancel. So 2a is c plus d or in place of a you can write c plus d by d. And uh, if I subtract them, so a plus b equals to c and a minus b equals to d. If I subtract them, then a will get cancelled. 2b equals to c minus d or b equals to c minus d divided by d. So these two replacements I will do apart from taking a plus b as c and a minus b as d. So if I do so, Left hand side is cos a plus b plus cos a minus b so that I can write as cos a plus b is c plus cos a minus b so that I can write as cos. Right? Uh, till now it is quite simple. This you can see will be cancelled. You are left with two times of cos a cos b. Two times of cos a and a is c plus d by 2. cos b, b is c minus d by 2. This is the formula which you need to remember. cos c plus cos d is 2 times cos c plus d by 2, cos c minus d by 2. Fine enough. Let's use this here. So let's use this in uh, any one. Let's use this in the first two. So I can write cos 10 plus cos 110. So cos 10 plus cos 110 plus cos 130. So in this two if I use, so I can write this as 2 times cos of C plus D. That is 120, 120 divided by 2. So cos 60 multiplied by cos. This minus this. So this is cos 100 with a negative sign but you know that cos of minus theta is cos theta only. So cos of uh, minus 50 is cos 50 only. Cos 60 you all know is half. 2 into half will give me 1 into cos 50 plus cos 130. I can remove this one because 1 into something is that quantity only. Again I use the formula here. So 2 times cos of this plus this 180. 180 divided by 2 is 90. 
multiplied by cos their difference divided by so their difference uh, is uh, 80 50 minus 130 is minus 80 again minus doesn't matter in terms of cos so cos their difference divided by 2 so that will give you 40 50 minus 130 is minus 80 minus 80 divided by 2 is 40 but this will not matter because you know cos 90 is 0 so this entire thing is going to give us 0 so the thing which was looking complicated is nothing but a 0 in the end so if you remember this formula this question was uh, just uh, small use of the pen so again with the help of this video, we also saw how to derive formula in case you uh, forgot that in exam. Then also it uh, will take hardly 2 minutes to solve this question, a minute to derive this and less than a half a minute to uh, reach the solution. So that's it. For more such question, uh, do watch the playlist on trigonometry for more such problems. This question appeared in uh, NDA exam, so it's an important question, but at the same time a lot of thing to learn also, that uh, if you are going for an exam which have more number of questions as compared to the time, so do remember this type of formula in order to solve more and more questions. That's it from my side, thanks and have a nice day.